Hi, welcome back to another exciting tip of the week. This week what we're going to talk about is food allergies. Now food allergies is something we never really realize that we have. And what can happen is it can really disrupt one, our digestive system, but two, also cause inflammation in the body, and then three, cause us not to lose weight. Now what are the two most common food allergies? Well, number one would be lactose. Lactose is a huge, huge food allergy that a lot of Americans suffer from. And what ends up happening from that, normally the side effects are more obvious. Uh, excess gas, stomach bloating, things like that will always cause a little bit more discomfort. And lactose is pretty easy to see. But what happens is a lot of us will ignore these side effects thinking that it's just from what they ate or that it's normal. This isn't normal. Food allergies can definitely cause some serious issues in the body. Now, what do we need to do to combat this? They have lactate uh, milk. They also have different types of cheeses and different things without lactose. So, if you're not losing as much weight as you think you should, try switching over to those sources. The other food allergy I want to talk about is gluten. Gluten is found in most wheat products. Now, gluten is a byproduct of any type of wheat uh, processed food. Now, what gluten will end up doing is pretty much the same type of thing, but the side effects are so, so minimal that most people never even realize that they have gluten intolerance. Now, with gluten, you might get a little bit of stomach discomfort, a little bit of stomach bloating, but really that's it. But what happens is it causes an allergic reaction inside the body and will actually cause you to gain weight and swell up faster than you would by just consuming excess calories. So what ends up happening is we think that we've actually gained more weight than we have, but what it's actually from is from that food allergy from gluten. So with that, I would switch over to all natural sources. If you are going to go over to, say, like a rye bread, check the ingredients because most of the time rye bread actually is refined wheat or processed wheat. So there's Ezekiel bread and cereals and pastas and things like that. You can normally find them at the healthy uh, section and the organic section in the grocery stores, but that will make a big, big difference. So those are two changes that you can make. Go to lactose-free milk and lactose-free dairy products, and then also go to gluten-free type products. Look for them in the health department or the organic section at any of your grocery stores. So that's this week's tip of the week. Join us back next week as we give you more cutting-edge information to help you losing weight.